are you confused about Star Trek and Red Data? So watch this video to the end. But these motors are relatively simple machines. When the load on the motor is constant, the speed is proportional to the supply voltage. And when the supply voltage is constant, the speed is inversely proportional to the load on the motor. This second relationship between the speed and the torque of the motor is given by speed torque curve of the motor. The inverse relationship between speed and the torque means that an increase in the load, the motor will cause a decrease in the speed. Coming to the stall torque, it is the motor's continuous torque at a zero speed. Stall torque is the maximum torque produced by the motor and we should operate on stall torque on occasionally. As it hits up the motor, uh, because we put electrical energy which is voltage into current and the output mechanical energy produced should be as torque into velocity but here the motor has a zero speed and high torque so the output power is zero and as the law of thermodynamics says energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so higher the torque high current consumption and the motor coil acts as a fixed resistance here all the energy is dissipated in the form of heat which causes overheating of the motor you can also understand stall torque as a torque required to stop the motor shaft from rotating. Whereas the rated torque is the maximum continuous torque that the motor produces at the rated RPM when working normally and without overheating. It is the operating torque. Here we would like to operate for our particular application. Now let's consider uh, this motors from Robo.in. This uh, is 12 volt and 50 RPM uh, motor which has a rated torque of 328.3 newton centimeter which is approximately 33 kg cm and a stall torque of 1500 newton centimeter which is approximately 152 kg cm therefore here the stall torque means at 1 centimeter the motor can only carry 152 kg of weight but it will not rotate continuously whereas the stall torque means the motor can carry 33 kg of weight at 1 centimeter distance and it will rotate continuously with that carrying that weight. I hope things are clear now. This is all for this video and I hope you have enjoyed and surely learned something. If you like my this video, make sure you check out my other videos as well and subscribe to our channel. And I see you in another video.